Hey guys, how are you? This is Ron Jordan over at RJ Lang Sales coming at you with another FLIR Thermal Studio Pro tutorial. Today what we're going to go over is how to create a report using FLIR Thermal Studio Pro. Let's jump into it. Alright, after you have decided which image to use, you've imported all of your images uh, over here and we've selected the folder that we'd like to use and create the report and what I'm gonna do is double click on that image I'm gonna take care of any of the leftover information that I use from the camera by left clicking and then hitting delete on the keyboard as we're accustomed to seeing up here in the top left are all of our tools that we can use most notably add measurement is going to be the toolbox that we use most frequently so adding measurement most of us will use spot temperature so we can have the spot and typically we would have had to come back up here hit the spot and keep doing that if we want to speed that process up we'll right click create duplicate and we can continue to create the duplicate by not even clicking off right so we can see over here I've added five different spots uh, pretty quickly I do not want five spots so I will left click and then delete Another new tool that we have, two new tools actually, the Polygon tool and the Magic Wand. Personally, the Magic Wand tool is my favorite so far. And this gives you an area that you can, let me move this spot tool so we don't, uh, let's just start that over. Go in here, go to Magic Wand. We'll click in here and what that does is it creates a region of interest uh, that are similar in temperature. And I can drag and, and move these around just by holding in that left, the left mouse button. And uh, I can move those around. I'd like to create a delta comparing the spot tool and the region of interest. As you'll notice over here on the right hand side, I can change the sources. Let me minimize that for you. And as I change those sources, I've hit the settings button. So I want the reference to be spot one versus that area of interest one. And then that value, min, max, average, I like to keep that at max. And I can click off of there. And you can see then the delta between that region of interest and then also that spot. We can clean the image by changing the level and span over here on the left-hand side. And I can do this by typing as well as using the slider bar which is what I use most frequently over in Fleer tools so it's very similar um, I can change the bottom end of the level and span and I can change the top end or I can use the whole entire slide bar to do both at the same time so let's say that I have done everything that I'd like to do in here I've added my spot tools I've added my Delta function uh, I've cleaned up the image so there's background noise is, is pretty much eliminated. I'm ready to create my report. I'm going to hit save. I will hit add to report. I can select whichever template that I would like. I've created a template uh, with RJ Lang. I will show you how to create your own template as well in a separate video. But today I'm just going to use the stock thermal photo details and I can either double click on this or single click and then hit select as you'll notice the thermal and digital come up at the same time uh, that is attributed to the radiometric JPEG that is in FLIR uh, all of the FLIR cameras that we have uh, so it takes that digital and thermal at the same time uh, creating that MSX as well on a side note if you do not want all this information in your report you can left click and press delete so you can delete all of this information most often uh, you guys are not going to want all of that information on there but you do want the measurement information so you can drag just like we did with the spot tool you just keep the left mouse clicked in and you can drag and drop wherever you'd like to and then we'll add the text box so up here in this very daunting uh, menu bar hit text box 
and you can resize the text box and then this double click inside of here and then this is where you can type whatever you need to to your customer right um, and then you can create the report that way also you can create the logo uh, if you have an image in your files you would go in here and, and be able to do that as well uh, again this is just a quick nitty-gritty on how to create that report I will show you how to create a template as well as set your logo in a separate video uh, in this video I just wanted to show you basically how to clean the image and then get it into a report and then you can export to a PDF or if you'd like you can just save it uh, whatever the case may be um, I'll leave that up to you thank you again for watching the video I hope you found this video informative. Check back with us. Please share, subscribe, like, and comment on the video. Um, and stay up to date with us for more Flare Thermal Studio Pro tutorials, as well as tutorials on the new uh, Professional Series cameras. So that is the E-Series, EX-Series, T-Series, and also the GF77. Thanks, guys. Again, this is Ron Jordan over at RJ Lang Sales, and I look forward to working with you and your team on your next project. Have a great day.